Eureka College was the third college in the United States to say bye-bye to sexism and admit men and women on an equal basis. Hello everyone and welcome back to another university review. In this series, we take you through a university where we talk about its rankings, the popular courses, the average tuition fees, scholarship options and so much more. So for today, we have the Eureka College from Illinois. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into today's video. Eureka College is a private liberal arts college in Eureka, Illinois. Founded in 1848 and chartered in 1855, this was the first school in Illinois and only third in overall United States to educate women on an equal basis with men. Eureka College is the smallest college or university in American history to graduate a future US president with a bachelor's degree. Ronald Wilson Reagan, the 40th president of the United States, graduated from the Eureka College in the class of 1932 with a joint major in economics and sociology. It is ranked number 25 in the Regional College Midwest and is ranked at number 13 for the best value schools by the US News in 2022. The acceptance rate of Eureka College is 61%. In terms of the location, the university is located at East College Avenue in Eureka in the state of Illinois. It spans an area of around 70 acres. You can also visit the Ronald Reagan Museum which is a part of the Donald B Surf Center and contains a collection of objects and memorabilia largely donated by Ronald Reagan. The items are from his times as a student, actor, athlete, governor of California and president of the United States and the admission is completely free. The college took in around 540 students in their fall intake last year. The ratio of male to female students is quite equal with 51% male students and 49% female students. The university also only has about 1.8% of international students. The average class strength at Eureka is 20 students with almost 75% of their classes having fewer than 20 students and around 25% of classes having 20 to 50 students. This means that the individual attention that you will get will be higher. Eureka also boasts a retention rate or student satisfaction rate of 63%. The Eureka College offers courses in numerous disciplines like accounting, arts and humanities, sociology and criminal justice, digital media and design, science and mathematics, philosophy and religion. The most popular majors at Eureka College include business administration and management, homeland security, law enforcement, firefighting and related protective services, psychology, elementary education and teaching, accounting, biology or biological sciences history and political sciences secondary education and teaching art and art studies and communication the acceptance rate at eureka is 61% meaning for every 100 applicants 61 students are admitted this means that the school is moderately selective Academic criteria for qualification can vary by the degree program. With a minimum GPA requirement of 2.25, Eureka can be a good choice if you want to experience quality education but lack somewhere in your academics. Along with your GPA, you'll also need to show your competitive exam scores. The average score required to get into Eureka is between 940 and 1130 for SAT and between 16 and 24 for ACT. As an international student, if your first language is not English, you will be required to submit an IELTS or TOEFL score. For IELTS, the minimum requirement is 6 band and for TOEFL, the minimum score is 79. If you are targeting for the spring 2023 intake, the deadlines have already been announced. The application deadline is 1st November 2022 and if accepted, your course will start early January 2023. However, these deadlines can also vary according to the program of your choice. The tuition cost for programs varies depending on the choice of your course. The average tuition fees will cost you around $28,000 for 2 semesters. 
you'll have to bear the additional cost of housing and dining as well, which can differ based on what type of accommodation you choose. We'll talk about this in a little while. As a student, there are some additional miscellaneous costs you'll have to incur as well. The total cost can be broken down somewhat like this. 100% of students will receive merit 8 based on academic performance. You may also qualify for need-based institutional aid. Below are institutional scholarships and grants for which every admitted student has the opportunity to qualify. Uniquely Eureka Award, Eureka Scholars Award, Eureka Opportunity Grant, Eureka Residential Grant. Apart from these grants and awards, there are also scholarship options that you can apply for like the EC Scholarships, Barton Service Scholarship, Uniquely Eureka Promise and many more. According to the official website of the college, here is the total cost of education broken down. Accommodation is also an area where a lot of international students find themselves struggling. Fortunately, Eureka does provide accommodation for their students. They have different accommodations for the preferences of different students. You get to choose from five options of housing, namely the Alumni Court, the Founders Court, the Langston Hall, the Gunzenhauser Hall and the Arnold Hall. The details for the pricing of accommodation in these facilities are given right here on this chart. As you can see, you can opt for a double room or a single room. You can choose and select whichever option fits your budget and your needs the best. Part-time jobs are a great way to earn some money and reduce the total cost of your education as well. At Eureka, F1 students are eligible to work on campus and off campus while attending classes with proper authorization. If you would like to work on campus, the work does not need to be related to your field of study. Off-campus work including all paid and unpaid internships always requires authorization from the PDSO. Without authorization, you risk termination of your F1 visa status. On-campus employment includes work that directly serves the students of Eureka College, for example, library, business office or admissions. On-campus employment also includes employment with Sodexo Dining Services, a contracted service provider. To qualify for on-campus employment, you must be enrolled full-time during the fall and spring semesters. You may work up to 20 hours per week while school is in session. You may not engage in on-campus employment after the program end date listed on your I-20. Eureka College understands that international students can have a hard time adapting to a new environment in an alien country. For this reason, they have some special services and cells for the international students as well. The purpose of international student services is to serve as a resource and advising center for all international students on the campus. You can always use calls or emails to book an appointment or simply walk by their office on weekdays that is Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The student services help you with your immigration basics, maintaining status and employment authorization. They also have an international student guidebook designed to help all international students throughout their time at the Eureka College. In this guidebook, you'll find information about obtaining your visa and traveling to Eureka, the town of Eureka, Illinois, academic resources, paying your Eureka College bill, cultural adjustment and the stages of culture shock and so much more. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Share this video with a friend who wants to study in the US and might want some help in shortlisting universities. Let us know in the comment section below if you missed something that you would like us to cover in the next video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when our next video is out and I'll see you guys in the next video.